Oh, I'm so bored. Let me just scroll on TikTok for a bit. Yo, Pierre, you've been on your phone for two hours, man. Yeah, because I'm bored and I got nothing else to do. There's so many productive things you can do instead. Oh, you think you're so much better than me? Tell me one thing. I'm going to lock in right now and tell you six things you can do next time you're bored. Starting with physical. Number one, clean your room or your most used space. But not in a boring way. We're going to turn it into a challenge. So let's say we're cleaning our room. Determine how long it would usually take to clean your room. Let's say an hour. Now, cut that time in half. Set a timer and try to clean your room before that timer ends. You can put your headphones in, listen to your favorite music but try to clean your room before that timer ends by speed running it you're increasing your motivation to do it you're burning more calories because now you're moving way quicker to do it and you're also improving your decision making skills because now you have a time frame to figure out what you'll organize what you're gonna put to where what you're gonna get rid of and once you're done you'll feel a sense of accomplishment if you finish before the time and you'll be rewarded with a clean room or a clean office whatever room it is you use the most and this is important man like for example me in my room i have my bed there and my desk here I do a lot of my work and a lot of my videos in my room this is the environment that I spend a lot of my time in so I need to keep it clean because I want to be the most efficient possible and I am a product of my environment if my environment is unorganized it's dirty then that will rub off on me making me unproductive unorganized and not doing as much as I could be number two out of the physical section go for a walk a walk bro that sounds so boring hear me out walk out your front door and walk to a destination that you've never been to or that you haven't been to in a while Put on some headphones and listen to a podcast, a subject that you're interested in, or even something that's entertaining. Now, throughout your walk, treat it like a video game. What I mean by that is interact with things. If you're walking and you see a bench, do some push-ups on it. If you see some monkey bars, do some pull-ups on it. If you see something that looks really cool, then try to take an artsy and aesthetic picture of it. I did this the other day. There's a forest near my house that when I was younger, I used to go there with my friends all the time. We would play some airsoft battles there. So I decided to put my headphones on, go there, and go for a walk. And it was sick, man. I was walking around, taking some videos. Videos, I did some pull-ups on trees. I did some push-ups on the ground. And when I came back, I felt 10 times better than I did before. And by doing this, you're killing so many birds with one stone. You're getting some physical activity in. You're boosting your creativity. You're getting that mental stimulation because you're listening to that podcast with new information. And like I said, you'll come back home feeling 10 times better than you did before. Now, moving on to the mental stuff that you can do when you're bored. The first thing is journal. Because here's the thing. You think you know your strength. You think you know your weaknesses. But in reality, you don't don't know it as good as you think you do. So what I want you to do is grab a blank piece of paper, draw a line right in the middle. On the left side of the paper, you're going to write things I know I do right. And on the right side of the paper, you're going to write things I know I'm doing wrong. And to make sure you're not lying to yourself or you're not sugarcoating it, I want you to write at least 10 on each side. For example, things I know I'm doing right. I'm working out every day. I'm journaling. I'm staying social. I'm talking to new people. I'm eating clean, whatever it is. Things I'm doing wrong could be, oh, I'm scrolling on TikTok talk too much i'm overstimulating myself i'm not stepping out of my comfort zone as much as i could be so just take some time to think about both sides write them down at least 10. now for everything you wrote down that you're doing right i want you to quickly write why for example i know i'm staying healthy physically because i go to the gym every day i'm trying new workout routines i'm doing this i'm doing this that's your why now for everything you know you're doing wrong i want you to write a solution for each of them do some research figure it out and write it down this exercise allows you to reinforce your strong points while turning your weaknesses into strength. And number two under mental is solving a puzzle. Now I don't necessarily mean a generic puzzle. It can be that, but I mean anything that is a puzzle. Chess, puzzle, Lego set, whatever it is that makes your brain work where there's a problem and you need to solve it. One of my favorite things to do is playing chess. I play on chess.com online against online players or the computer. And you gotta understand when you're doing a puzzle, you're using so much brain power that you're actually burning so many calories, about 200 calories per hour. And I mean, it makes sense. If you ever played a game of chess and once you're finished, you feel mentally exhausted. You're like, Whew. or even after you finish a puzzle and it took you so much time to find the right pieces and where they go. Once you finished it again, mental exhaustion, you're like, damn, I feel like I just did so much work and that's good because it brings out benefits such as cognitive skills improvement through problem solving and critical thinking, memory enhancement. You want to remember which pieces go where. If you're playing chess, you want to recall what moves you did, what moves you're going to do. And another massive benefit of this is concentration and focus. As opposed to when you're on TikTok scrolling and it's overstimulating, you know, there's different videos of 10 seconds back to back to back. When you're solving a puzzle or you're playing chess, you're dedicating your attention and your focus 
to one thing for a long period of time. My brother gave me this for Christmas. So next time I'm bored, I'm gonna dedicate some time to putting this Lego set together. This is a form of a puzzle, but this will take me a good like five hours to do. So instead of scrolling on TikTok and being overstimulated, I dedicate my focus to one thing and at the end I get a reward out of it and I can put it in my room. And the last section, financial. The first thing you can do under financial is sell unwanted things. This is a cheat code because there's definitely unwanted things that you have in your house, in your room, whatever, that you don't use, you don't want, and you can make some cash by simply selling it. You literally have depreciating assets sitting there collecting dust. So might as well take them, sell them, make some cash. And by putting things up for sale, you're learning how to number one, sell your item. You wanna portray it as the best item. You're writing the description for it, taking nice pictures of it. But at the same time, you're learning the art of negotiation and sale. People message you, they give you their offer. Now you gotta negotiate it for an offer that works best for you as well. So look around, find something you don't want, put it up for sale, make some cash. Number two, research investment opportunity. Whether that be crypto, stocks, ETF. Inform yourself on subreddits, articles, which ones are the best performing stocks or investments, which ones have the best projections. Write them down, look at charts, look at YouTube videos on how to read charts, try to predict it for yourself. In a few hours or the next day, come back to that chart, see if you predicted it accurately or not. Even if you're not investing money into it, just the fact that you're learning the skill and understanding the market is something super valuable to hold as a skill. And then eventually when you're ready to invest money, or even if that is now, then you can make some good money with it. I personally made money through stocks, through ETFs, and through crypto. After educating myself, I put some money into it and I made some money back.